Hello everyone and welcome back. This video is going to be about all the different types of selectors you can use. And I say all, I mean some of the basic ones. Because there's a ton of selectors you could use. We're really just going to focus on three for this video. Element, ID, and Class. So let's go ahead and just Element, ID, and Class. So already we've done elements. We've done H1. So H1 color equals red. We're selecting all the H1s on the page. If we have more than one H1, it will select all of them. So let's refresh. Now I have, it selects both of them. And if I change this to green, it selects both of them. But you also have the options of getting more specific. Let's say that I wanted the first header to be green but I wanted the second one to be blue. Right now I can't do that with what I know. I can't make the first one green and the second one blue. It's all or nothing. So this is where you can have IDs or classes. We're going to start with IDs. IDs are added right here. So you do ID equals a um, header two, and this can be anything you want. You can give it whatever name you want as long as it's unique. It has to be unique. You can't have more than one element with the same ID. So I've given this ID of header two, and just to be safe, I'll give this the ID of header one. So I come over here into my styles, and in the IDs, I'm going to select this with header one, this with header two. So let's comment out that. So to select an ID, you use the octothorpe or the hashtag, header one, and then color, we want it to be red, I think it was. No, green. Green and blue. So we want header 1 to be green, and we want header 2 to be blue. So if I save this and refresh, now I have the option, the ability, to style them individually. So IDs are used whenever you want to select one specific element in order to style it, and then you come over and you select that ID with the octothorpe or the hashtag or the pound sign or the number sign or whatever you want to call it. Those are IDs. And notice here, and we'll get into why later, but right now I have all H1s being colored green. Let's make this one red. I want this to be red. So think about this. What do you think is going to happen? It's got an H1 styling all the H1s green. This one is styling just this H1 to red, and this one is styling just this H1 to blue. Refresh. And you'll notice it takes the IDs, but it didn't do anything with the H1. Now you might think, oh, that's because that's lower in the CSS. So just to prove a point, let's copy this down to the bottom. Nope, it still takes these. This is due to something called specificity, and we're not going to talk about it right now. We'll cover it kind of in depth in a later video, but I just wanted you to be aware that whenever you have two things conflicting, one of them will win out, and it's not the order of the, HD, of the CSS document. So now we have the ability to select all of our H1s. We could also select elements individually, but we can also do classes. So for example, let's say that I wanted paragraph one and paragraph three to have a background that's yellow, but I did not want that to apply to paragraph two. Now I could come in here, put ID paragraph one, and then come down here and put ID equals paragraph three, and then come over in here and then give them each an ID, and, but that's that's repeating myself. I want it to be dry. I do not want to repeat myself. I want the, since I want the exact same styles to apply to both of these, instead I'm going to use what's called a class. And you'll be using a lot of classes. Classes are by far the most um, popular attribute that I use in HTML, that most people use in HTML so that they can apply styles to it. IDs are used on occasion, sometimes you'll select elements, but classes are by far the most popular. So class equals, we'll call it um, yellow BG. And I can copy and paste this exact same thing down here. IDs are unique, classes are not. IDs can only, there can only be one, Highlander style. But classes you can reuse as many times as you want. To select a class is the period, followed by that name, yellow BG, I believe it was. And I'll set background to yellow. Save and refresh. And you'll notice it applied only to the ones 
that have that class. It did not apply to paragraph two. I can come up here into an entirely different element. Equals yellow BG and apply that same class and it will apply. So any, it can be anything. It can be the, the body. Class equals yellow BG. Refresh and now the entire body has a background that is yellow. I don't want that. But I could. So those are the three main ways to select elements in CSS. Like I said, there's a lot more and we're going to get to the advanced ones, but those are the three most common ways and the three most basic ways to do it. You can select the element itself, which will select all of that type, all H1s, all divs, all paragraph tags, whatever. You could select by ID, which is the individual specific one, and there can only be one. These are unique. And then you can also select class which are not unique. It's like an ID, except it's not unique. You can use it multiple times. That's it for this video. I hope you have a good one.